Okay, are we live? Let's see if everything works. It was a big hectic. I was so busy with this preset that I almost forgot that I should uh, live stream on YouTube. So um, for everybody watching, hi there. And if you have a Gmail account or a YouTube account, you also can uh, uh, be inside the, uh, the chat room. Uh, let me see. Excellent. We are live. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, in Quad. We will have Quad next week. So at the end of April, it's out. Um, I was enjoying this string model. It's, of course, a bit different compared to, for instance, how we did this in Submoon Base 2. But let me explain how it works. So um, this is a new preset, a bit of Rimba. So it sounds a bit like a... Uh, Like a rimba so a string model is essentially a kind of delay very short you have a transit sound that starts and then you have a kind of delay that's how john explained it to me <laughs> and <clears throat> we have two our parameters for this so oscillator 2 has this option down here and this down here we use for phase modulation by oscillator 1 or frequency modulation and all kind of other things which you see can pop up and you can see down here there is also string and um, keep in mind that this originally was designed for rack extension so we could not change the labels here in the rack extension so it shows amount one and amount two amount one in case of the string model is the length of the sound so if I go to the left it makes it shorter and the amount two is the damping, uh, just, just like a bit like a filter. So what I did here in the modulation matrix, control the velocity to control the damping. And now it should be the other way around because the damping goes to the right. Then. So let's see. You see, of course, we have also velocity on the vol volume here. So it's, uh, it's a nice percussion sound if you would uh, use this in a track. Uh, there's a bit of drifting I could shut that down so it's a little string model inside the quad synthesizer and you see here the velocity the node is used for adding more brightness to the top and the modulation wheel I use to um, to make the sound shorter you see the destinations is oscillator FM amount one which is not FM amount but essentially the string amount one which is the length so if i so what we could do in an update is that it, this label down here could change or this was not possible with the rack extension but that is something with the um uh, vc what we could do so these are things which are still planned um so that's one of the new presets. Okay, it's saved. If I'm not wrong, pitch band should be also a bit active. Uh, we increased the quality of the reverb, which also will be part of the rack extension. So if you own the rack extension, that one also will be updated with some new preset, new filter types, and an improved reverb sound. Okay, so, uh, so if I go here, you see this is the bank manager, the same as you know from Predator 2 or um, Simple Base 2, Vecto. All the recent uh, instruments d do use this latest um, bank manager system. And you see, I give already some star sounds which I placed into the uh, <clears throat> introduction bank. This one uses a notch filter. So 
So, um, yeah, let's see in the chat room if we have some people joining here. Let me see. Yes, we have some uh, people joining. Hello, everybody. If you have a question about quad, just drop it. Maybe it's a good thing to have a very brief introduction. Only a few minutes talking about what you will find. Yeah. So when I go to uh, the introduction bank, I can take the default preset, which should be inside of here. A default preset. Um, not really. Did we forget that one? That's not so. Oh, yeah, well, of course we have here default preset. Okay, here default preset. Okay. Um, two oscillators, and each oscillator has two fields. One is phase distortion, and the other one is wave shaper. That makes that the synthesizer sounds a lot different compared to the other products we have. So if we have, for instance, a sinus waveform, I can open an amount here and I can use here one of the types of phase distortion, two points. So it's very mild. I think two point is more the symmetry modulation compared. Very strange one. Then we have this one. And of course, you can MIDI latch. Um, if I have this one here, see. And this is purely on a. So we have all types of phase distortion. So the amount controls how much phase distortion is added to the waveform. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's um, it's a good question. What makes this plugin really different compared to the other? Yeah, this is what makes the difference. These two fields here where you can use phase distortion and wave shaper. This is on the well and of course you can record this as a MIDI controller. So if you would if I would MIDI latch that one latch to MIDI the X so Yeah, and at the same time, so if you have all kind of spurs, all kind of something sounds very grainy. Sounds more from a sinus too. There we have this plus and minus so that you So very interesting. And what you could use, I do now this movement, this Y movement, and I could say, use for instance the envelope one. Uh, I can pick it here, free envelope one, and I use that one for the oscillator one, and then, okay, oscillator one, the uh, Y movement of the phase distortion, P the phase distortion and then of course I need to have here a, a bit of a it sounds a bit like sync sound but this is a phase distortion on a sinus waveform because if I turn back this amount it's a normal sinus And that's only one thing I'm doing now on one oscillator. So you can, even at the same time, you can have uh, wave shaping with different types of wave shaping. Mm. 
actually sound very different compared to this one. And of course you can combine them together. Dirty. So here I could use then the, uh, let's say, an LFO. Hmm, free LFO one, and there from oscillator one, I changed then and used the wave shaping. Let's let's do the X. Let's see how that. Yeah, it's a bit like a laser hop, although the laser hop is originally a sync sound. So, it's actually, I already have now a new preset, so what I could do, because... Give it also a bit of um, vibrato, that makes it a bit nicer, so I go to the other LFO, LFO2, and I use LFO2 on the uh, global fine pitch. bit of uh, of course what I also can do is now because the modulation pitch now it's just a little bit I can increase it by using the modulation wheel and the modulation wheel would control the modulation amount of number three so here a bit too deep so yeah. And also here you hear this envelope. I also can use fade uh, fade. Then it goes back up. So now it's starting to get dirty, then what I do to finish the sound. So it's only one oscillator using the face distortion and wave shaper at once. Uh, what we will do in an update is if you see the envelope modulates this uh, XY, so we make it visible also, but that we most likely will do in an update. So what I like to finish off this preset, I like this one I could send it to a filter so I also could add a bit of a filter type let's see 20 to V give it a bit of a velocity Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, uh, give it a delay. I would like it legato. That's a bit nicer, especially if you do some trills. Pitch band is missing. Let's do some pitch band. No, um, the the XYs, these uh, these things you mentioned, no, they control the phase distortion. Uh, so yeah, let's save this preset. Okay, legato. Maybe a bit of portamento.
yeah, it's nice as lead. So I'm what I'm gonna do save preset in folder and I put this one of course scroll down in the bank folder and then I put this in synth sounds okay and I will call this one because it's April session lead there it is and of course I not must forget to tag it so here let's tag it uh, lead sound bright it has a fix modulation wheel legato mode apply and save and so now it's a dirty sound isn't it so simply by showing you by this default preset is how fast you can have a sound just by using the face distortion i'm checking here in the chat room um yeah somebody has the rec extension and the um the rec extension also will get the update that you can use two fx at once so delay and reverb and the improved quality of the reverb and um, let's show you this in just one of the uh, presets so if you go to the ambient bank there's a space trumpet which is this one and then you hear it's a very nice um, reverb inside this uh, synth <laughs> isn't it so also that will be added so I'm checking here in the um, um, okay I'm checking here will quad be available in NCAS sure we always make it NCAS but always takes at least one month because we need to convert the presets to NCAS format we need to uh, check all the tagging and Quadwiz has over 800 presets if I'm not wrong so this means a lot of work and of course then it needs to be checked by by um, native instruments if everything is okay and then we would release it as a Anka as also compatible instrument so let's go back to the um, default preset again to show how the basic was so so what i mentioned is this oscillator which based on already for instance the uh, sinus waveform is that you can change the waveform by phase distortion and wave shaping <clears throat> now the second oscillator also has the option that uh, you can do phase modulation uh, from oscillator one to oscillator two there are different types so let's see how that works so this is the oscillator i put it now off normal oscillator and i shut it off from going to the filter so then the oscillate modulate starts modulating oscillator 2. and then you can make some Bell sounds just by yeah the uh, phase distortion by the way yeah that's also part in the in raw and raw kick that we also use it's really a, a distorting the waveform so here you see phase modulation different types of phase modulations frequency modulation sorry and phase modulation can make even louder so you see phase modulation is essentially the same what would be with a uh, let's say a FM synthesizer or CZ uh, synthesizer which you modulate the phase of the other oscillator so if I would then use again 
um, the free envelope one to control the volume of oscillator one you hear that? I essentially have a two operator FM synthesizer because I can shut down oscillator one going into the filter instead of that I use it to this one distorts it too much you have a kind of FM synthesizer and of course I modulate by sinus and if I change I can change also the modulating oscillator with FM synthesis the sinus waveform is of course very handy as modulating uh, oscillator but still here I can pick There you again, you're weird, but now it's not phase distortion, but now oscillator 1 modulates oscillator 2. You can really do some very modular stuff. So, these are all kind of modulations you can add. Dirty, isn't it? Nice, nice effect sound. This is modular synthesis. So, so a sinus wave from oscillator two modulated by oscillator one. So that's also possible. So sound-wise, although you only have one page in front of you, you can do a lot if you are creative and know a bit how how FM works and that kind of stuff. Um, I was in this sound bank, let me see. So I'm sh go going now to one other sound, give me one second. Um, where was it? There was a kind of sound where I used... Ah! <laughs> tempo is a bit high but here you see the is play mode is polyphonic but here the arpeggiator is playing in free mode so the free modulation mode so you have the arpeggiator mode is up down the normal ones you know a random ordered reversed ordered order up down order down up chord mode which you know it's the chord triggering and modulation free which is means that the upper actuator is used as a modulation sequencer. So now I can make it also slower, half speed. And you hear it's very complex. Still, there's only one oscillator used. One oscillator used and it uses the phase distortion. But here you see the free LFO uh, is used to, uh, to change a bit the tuning, although oscillator 2 is not active, I can see. Modulation wheel controls the amount of the Y from the phase distortion from oscillator 1. And the up velocity also controls the phase distortion, the X movement. And by opening the modulation wheel, the phase distortion, which is this thing. So essentially, it's one oscillator 
which has as base the sinus waveform. So, like this. I open the amount of the phase distortion. As you see, it doesn't have to mean that you always have to open 20 oscillators. So, yeah, you see, and what is cool, if you see, if you would have quad, and you see, for instance, this preset, just change here from type, so. So you can cool, cool, do some very cool things with uh, this, this thing. So that makes the synthesizer different for, compared to a Predator 2, a BIT, or whatever. It's that each oscillator has this phase distortion wave shape and you can move it around and change the sound. Two filters on board, which is of course uh, nice to do some other things. And I, I played last week this sound which was very similar to a Fairlight sound. Let me see. I need to go here. Uh, let me see. Well, maybe it's in the pet. I think it's in the pet sound. Yeah, pet and Fairlight, which I played last week, which is very similar to a Fairlight sound. And there, here you see what is handing that the filter one and two have a very a good routing system. They have a routing system where you can have both filter serial, parallel or oscillator. And in terms of oscillator means is that oscillator one goes into filter one, which is a low pass filter, and oscillator two goes into filter two, which is a vowel filter. So you see it's this noise and together you get this tuned quiet type sound. So, um, so that's the option two filters. You have, of course, inside the filter, uh, you can select filter one, filter two. Each filter has its own filter envelope. The amount can be controlled here, can be negative, positive, double pick, you go to, into the middle. Then we have the amp section, which is the overall volume control. You can control the velocity here, pan the sound, and here, of course, the main envelope, attack, decay, sustain, fade, and release. So, um, the introduction bank, so if you like to try out quad, we added the introduction bank where you can play around. Um, let me see, uh, some presets. <laughs> yeah, you see, it can sound. some good sound from Jamal. So that also has a arpeggiator on board. It is a bit limited, uh, more limited compared to, for instance, a arpeggiator in Go2 or uh, Predator 2 or Bluetooth. It's on off step and velocity but still you have some the special modes with modulating. But this has to do with the fact that it was originally designed for the uh, rack extension. And a rack extension has a particular format and you cannot move away from that. So, um, so therefore things are a bit different maybe also when you seek unison. So let's see if we go to a uh, pad here, moon pad. And you like to have this one this unison. Then you need to go in play mode, play mode, unison poly, and then it appears. So, so if you have poly, you see this is this is uh, blanked out. That has to do with the fact that with reason, it's some things that work different. So we had to work around things to get things working. So 
Here we have unison poly mode and then I want to select it among the CD tuning and spread is the stereo spread. It's a nice bad sound. So that's different. Yeah, we have two FX as, as mentioned before, but I, let me check the chat room if somebody maybe has a question. It's um, yeah about this um, this of course this laser harp sound that was a sync sound originally. Uh, yeah, there are some classic sounds which I always like to do, especially if you have a good uh, effects on board. Some some classic. Uh, Stereo CS, it's called. So everybody who is joining now, cool that you are here, guys. Each Thursday there is a live stream, and uh, if you missed it, don't. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem because in the playlist on YouTube we have the playlist for a playlist for Predator 2, playlist for Subboom Base 2, but also playlist for the live streams so we always can check them back we have many of them and if you simply have some spare time just watch of what watch one of them there's always something to learn and um, yeah okay so let's go now so we always can watch it back and I was telling now about in this live stream so I'm now here in the manager <laughs> Involving drone sound. Can you slow involving drone sounds? Yeah, what is a drone? That's a, that's a good question. Sometimes I wonder what is a drone. So we have some. Okay. Oh, well, now I'm in the trans bank. So if I go. Uh, down here I think maybe in this one yeah that's a good one yeah, it's very hard for me to understand what a drone sound is. This could be a very dark sound. I mean, this sounds droney, but it's more a bad sound, a very deep. I'm just playing a few. So in the ambient bank, let's check if there are maybe some moving things. Wow, this is more spacey, isn't it? So let's play a few of these sounds. I can put it a bit louder. These are choir sounds.
So this sounds pretty dark. You can use the modulation wheel. No, that one. Let me see if I have other ones. This is more FM type. Yeah, I need to hear that what these drone sounds is. Maybe somebody can send me some examples. Maybe there are inside, but I don't know. It's this, this is it's things like this. But this is from the Ambient Bank. It's more percussion sound. But this has these moving little things. Some basses, yeah, I also can do some basses, FM type of basses. Uh, we have this new bank from Solar, and one of his basses I really like. Oh, this is really edgy. More acid type. These are some bases, more edgy stuff. Okay, one second. Well, this one is very powerful. When you push. Yeah, push is good in the air. Well, this is a bit more edgy sound type of... Although this one is more analog, here we have also a dedicated bass bank with more... Very dark, this one, but sometimes... This is of course using legato mode, which is essentially something which was by the mini mode data. So if you play legato, it doesn't have the new stage of the de of the envelope. So these are some of the bases on board. So I just play a few basses. This is also nice. Grainy, grainy. Okay, so basses are on board. Grainy sounds more, also classic. Long bass. Low end is very good.
Yeah, sure. Okay, so somebody is asking. Um, about the robots could you switch on sine wave between face distortion and wave shaping to show the difference in sound yeah sure the the difference in sound is pretty big but it depends also on what type of face distortion you are using so i go back to the default preset again i pick one of the uh, wave shaping take first and i will do the same here also first so <coughs> first distortion on the face and on the sh away shape first so let's see how this works I go very extreme so this is on the and now let's do the same with same with the way shaper You see, it sounds different. Again, the... Uh, let me see if we can do the same with another one. Let's do Shift 2. Maybe this one I also have. Not it's not always the same shift is not on this one I can recall that we picked the ones which really were effective sometimes you have the same let's pick FM also here FM if FM is here let me see eh. no let me see which is the same fold maybe yeah fold both have fold okay so now fold Distortion on the face. Distortion. Oh, that's cool. Split uh, now. Okay, I need to close down that one, of course. So this is now the wave shaper. So you see, it sounds very different, okay. And of course, you can combine both. Um, yeah, so just by playing around here, just picking a different type, if you see a preset, so that's the cool thing if you uh, would next week if you have Explore 6 or you would buy a quad and you would start using it you say okay let's go here to a wobble I go to a wobble here and I simply change here from type and suddenly I have a different sound Uh, 808 bass, yeah, that's a good question. 808 is, of course, a kick, essentially a kick. If I go to <laughs> drums, let's go to drums, because we added some drum sounds. If you have a good synthesizer, you also can create drum sounds. Always keep that in mind. We have very fast envelopes, so we have some hi-hats. Computer sounds, claps. All synthesis, of course. Kabasa. So uh, it's also a. So here you have a bass drum. So now this bass drum is not tuned. Or oh, is it? Uh, let me see. It's only oscillator one. And when I put on tracking, then you have a kind of 808 bass type of thing. So very long, and of course, it's wise to go down here also mono. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I need to adjust the tuning because it's not really a 808 because it has a an additional that's better but then it needs to be let, let me check so I need to tweak this sound because somebody ask now we have a bit of 808 tuned 808 maybe yeah you can less click it's of course really tweaking the sound and I would go down with the velocity here a bit uh, I can save this one so that we have this one save save preset as bass drum 8 tuned 01 so that's the name so that could be and of course I could use some face distortion see what it does maybe it's not nice it makes it too bright so that's not something which is cool to do so it's a bit like a 808 maybe the click is a bit too loud and then I can adjust this here a bit let me see okay I'll save this one also as version 2 so you can try it out once you try out uh, quad or if you have uh, so with a good synthesizer you can do a lot all you need is good fast envelopes and um, yeah, a distortion, but there is not really a distortion as an FX inside of it. Um, one thing you could do to give it a little edge, let me think, what would be a trick? Just here, maybe. I'm not sure if that will work out. Um, yeah, it's even possible here, the drifting, what I could do when you have an octave. That's maybe... Yeah, then you have more an octave bass. But yeah, distortion is face distortion on the oscillators there is not a distortion in the filter or inside the amp section which you could use um, but you could give it a try so you see a lot of things uh, so I saved this two presets also uh, even snares and um, that's And of course, the snares build up from a noise and a plug. So, uh, yeah, a lot of pop options. So, quad, very versatile. We have a banks with uh, some weird sounds. Modular sounds. <laughs> And of course, quality stuff by Jamal. So, 
so okay let's check the chat room if maybe somebody has a question so two oscillators oscillator one oscillator two two filters m section which controls the main volume control two fx processors there are two free envelopes which you can address using the modulation matrix two lfos an arpeggiator is on board and you have several play modes The FX on board are in FX1, Chorus, Ensemble, Flanger, Phaser and Widener. And then you have in FX2, you have Delay and Reverb, or you can combine them. And then you have the option to first to have a Delay and Reverb, or first Reverb and Delay. And of course they are all high quality, which I showed you a bit with the, uh, the other presets. Let me see. If I can find it back. This one uses chorus and reverb. Or if I shut it down here, bye bye. Yeah, that's a good point. The synth is easy and fast. It's a bit like Vecto because you can stay on this page. You don't have to skip to other pages. It might limit you down on a certain area, but still you can do. And that's what I showed in this hour. A, a lot of amazing stuff simply by using the phase distortion. Um, iOS, yeah, that's something people ask if we would make an iPad synthesizer. Yeah, I mean, this quality reverb, that's not possible on an iPad. You need CPU power for that. So it would limit down the uh, things possible on iOS. We keep it in mind, and especially with our, when we use the latest SDK for de developing products, it will be an option. But yeah, for now, we stick to the uh, computers in developing uh, because then the limitation is not uh, is not there. The um, iPad brings some limitation, but also has, of course, some cool things. And sure, it will be cool to have a original Rob Harpen synthesizer on your iPad. You see, the reverb is very nice. Really a nice sensor. Yeah, an iPad you would have an XY would be cool. And sure, I think maybe the, an idea to face distortion and wave shaper to have that in inside the, uh, in the, uh, in, a, in an iPad synthesizer type of thing. But that's very far in the future. Currently we are too busy with uh, our current product line. And after we release Quad, we will be working on more presets for Punch 2. Uh, we will be working on Blade 2, but that will be after this summer. So we are very busy. So Quad out hopefully next week. Uh, part of the Explore 6 bundle, we will have an introduction price. And the normal price would be 99 bucks. And it's 16 voice. It comes over 800 presets, I think, in various music styles. and. Yeah, and of course, the reg reason users already know this synthesizer. Okay, I'm checking here on the um, chat room. Yeah, th uh, there are two pages. In fact, there are three pages. The other page is here. On the back panel here, you have some credits, who the basic idea, programming, John Iris the, the, and uh, Sidejack does our uh, Mac programming. These are the uh, the backbone of our company, John Iris and myself, are the two uh, uh, brothers in crime creating all these plugins. Um, you see here, you can program change, you can put out, on, off, MIDI bank change, you can put off. External MIDI control capture mode it means that the moment when I turn the dial and it's MIDI latch, the parameter starts changing 
uh, only the moment when I hit the value of the parameter, so not before, so you don't have sudden jumps. Uh, then we have uh, tuning scales. We have the ability, uh, you can change the tuning. Uh, you can, uh, we have three types of screens, 100%, uh, 150%, which you see now, <coughs> excuse me, 200%. And um, the, you see in the background, there's some cooling. So if you're creating a bit too many hot sounds, it, uh, it vents down here. Uh, so yeah, this is the back panel of Quad. Yeah, and the other page is the bank manager, of course, where you, it's the same system as what we have with, um, I see that we have still a little bug here because I click here, but it clicks there. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, sometimes you still have a little bug. Also some nice sounds you see. This is a nice sound for really a techno type of stuff and a very short percussive. So this, um, so I just play the last few minutes, a few presets for you. my finger so yeah we have some some very good presets on board to show yeah you see there's much in this beautiful machine so keep an eye next week hopefully in the next live stream it is released and that you are also enjoying it thank you for watching everybody uh, next week another live stream sometimes I'm on Facebook this week it was not possible because I was so busy with all kind of things but uh, maybe we see each other on Facebook on the live stream and otherwise hopefully next next week Thursday the same time and if you like it, do a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe. If you're maybe new to the live stream, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay safe and keep well and enjoy making music. <laughs>